welcome. This is Melissa Arma with a stock swoosh and reviewing the QQQs. Very interesting time to be trading, actually. So if you go back, not quite a month, but almost a month, the market has been in the tightest range I've ever seen it in 15 years. And we're going to close today within an hour, looking pretty much staying within the range. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. Jeez, that is crazy town. So if you're looking to trade the market right now, you're not getting much play through to the upside or the downside. So again, looking at the overall chart here, the last time the market made a brand new all-time high was so long ago. Not 2022, 2021. 2021, November 2021 was the last time the market made a brand new all-time high. I mean, you can't argue with that. For those people that think, oh my gosh, the market's so bullish, you know, I can't buy into this yet. We've done some calls. We've done some puts. Nothing that I'm holding this for any long amount of time. To the upside or the downside here with this market, it's chucking it out. It's getting in and getting out quick. And again, what do I think is going to move us out of the range? It could be earnings in the next two weeks. There's a lot of big things that are going to be reporting. But I have a feeling it's going to be something to do with interest rates or possibly something with Ukraine and Russia or something with some type of international news. Because, you know, we had Tesla earnings this week that fell. We had Netflix earnings that, this week that fell. It didn't move the market down, but then we had some other positive earnings that didn't move the market up. So, you know, you can look at it two ways. You can say, well, the banks were strong, but we didn't go anywhere. Then we had some other things that were weak and then we didn't go anywhere down. So, you know, I think that this is the tightest range I've literally ever seen the market in. I mean, it's a small, tiny, 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 tiny range for the market. But you got to look at the volume, too. This is really just low volume for the market. Now, it is Friday afternoon, but it's pretty much been the week. I mean, you almost sort of wonder, like, are people just not trading right now? Like, are they taking a break and waiting to see really what the Fed's going to do? The next meeting is until May. It's weeks off. So... We're looking for selective things. Tesla was the trade of the week. I'll go over that in a video next, but be careful in this market, people. First of all, assess your risk. Do not go over your risk. Book money when you're up, and that's the best advice I can give today. Have a great weekend, everyone. If you're interested in the next Golden Gap course, it is April 29th and 30th. Not this weekend, next weekend. Have a great weekend, everyone. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you'd like more information.